Many e-commerce store owners fail to realize just how important having a good quality score and a good ad rank is to the success of their Google Ads campaigns. But in this video, I'm going to tell you some of the fastest ways that you can start implementing right away to not only increase your ad rank very quickly with Google Ads, but also as a result to improve your sales in the long run now there's a lot of things to understand about ad rank and if i decided to go into detail into every single one of these things you and i will be here for about 24 hours so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of make it very brief conclude all of the information that i have so far from my own personal experience as well as what i've researched into ad rank quality score etc and also one thing i would like to mention i say ad rank and quality score together because both influence each other so that's why even if this video is about quality score ad rank directly impacts the quality score and vice versa but in addition we'll also understand how to kind of use this quality score to your benefit so you can start again increase those sales but before we talk about exactly how to improve the ad rank the quality score etc it's important to understand why this is the most important metric you should be looking at in order to determine the results of your shopping or search ads for that matter so right now here on my screen i have google ads account open which is actually a client's google ad account under my agency euro marketing but currently for this client we have three different campaigns running the first campaign is a branded search campaign the next two campaigns are both shopping campaigns and both are smart shopping campaigns but regardless of whether it's a smart shopping campaign standard shopping or even a performance max there is an ad rank and a quality score associated to these campaigns which basically determine how successful they are and quality score and ad rank are some of the most important metrics because they are directly influenced by everything that you see right over here ranging from your cost to your impressions to your ctr to the overall sales you get to the conversion value over cost everything is kind of smash together to provide you the ad rank and the quality score which is why it's a such an important metric but exactly what is specifically is a quality score so the quality score is something that ranges from 1 to 10 which google based on all of these factors based on the ad rank based on the internal guidelines gives to your campaign so right now at any given time this campaign right here which i've selected might have the products running at a quality score of about a 7 out of a 10 and the quality score does go from 1 to 10 and the interesting thing is every single product within this campaign actually has its own individual quality score and that's simply because every product is sort of its own listing because it has its own cost its own clicks its own ratio of ROAS of conversion value to cost its own ratio of CTR etc so because of that every individual listing is basically on its own so the product that is spending the most amount of money within this campaign might have a quality score of 9 out of 10 because number one it's spending the most money and then number two if it's getting you the most return on ad spend that means it's doing really well and Google notices that so it might have a good quality score on the other hand this campaign might have products with a quality score of a 1 out of 10 and those are the products which currently are not getting any impressions not spending any money within the campaign itself and that was just determined by google directly based on a variety of different factors but now that we kind of understood exactly how quality score works within its own individual campaign and that it actually runs for both a search campaign as well as a shopping campaign let's understand exactly how it works and by the way before i actually even do that just understand that this first campaign right here also has its own quality score its own ad rank for search campaigns it is actually visible to an advertiser meaning you can go within this campaign and set up certain columns where you can directly see the quality score and the ad rank however for shopping campaigns that is unfortunately not available so you just kind of have to base it off of how the overall performance is and based off of the metrics which i'm about to tell you which directly impact your quality score so to understand the formula for a quality score let's so look at this image i have up on my screen so this little box does a perfect explanation of exactly what a quality score is determined by so here we have four different advertisers for this example and on the top columns we have bid relevancy and ad rank and then what i would actually do is add two more columns in so the first column would be expected ctr that would be added in right over here and i would actually kind of take out bid because ad rank as we will soon find out is the score google gives you based on the bid so we don't really need it here so here what we would have is relevancy expected ctr ad rank and the landing page experience so this 
Image right over here does a very good job of explaining that expected click through rate, ad relevance, and landing page experience. All of these are given scores from above average all the way down to below average, and that is what determines your quality score. So essentially, that is what your quality score is. That is where you can find the most improvements. Now, the reason why I keep on saying ad rank simply because if we go back to this image and look at ad rank, it does have its own score right over here. And if we figure out what the formula for ad rank is, it is equal to your CPC bid, meaning what your average CPC is and what you are currently bidding multiplied by the quality score. So as you can see, quality score and ad rank, they kind of are interwined with each other. They work off of each other. That's why ad rank is so important. And that's also why it's kind of mentioned right over here. But for the sake of this video, we're going to kind of go back to this image just because we're mostly focusing on quality score here. So again, these are the factors which directly impact your quality score. So it kind of makes sense to focus on them, which brings me to the first point of the video as to how you can improve your quality score to then improve your results with your shopping campaigns and your search campaigns. The number one way is to improve your landing page experience. Now, hold on. What do I mean by this exactly? Landing page experience can have its own connotations. It can be a very deep subject. You can go start talking about conversion rate optimization because essentially that is what having a better landing page experience really means. But in this case, what I'm saying when I say you need to improve your landing page experience is you need to improve your conversion rates, period. There is no other way to improve your landing page experience without improving the conversion rates because the conversion rate is a direct number which tells you how your landing page experience is. Let's just think about it at a broader level. So for example, if a consumer goes onto your website and they only spend about one second each, Obviously, if 90% of the people are doing that, you're going to have a very, very low conversion rate because a lot of these people, they're not really interested in what you have to offer. Maybe your landing page, the description specifically, or the images, or even the pricing, or just the fact that there's a 404 error that's popping up, which is not even loading your product page, is happening on your website and your product page, which is stopping them from having a good experience. Because of that, they're just basically bouncing off of your website, leading to a very poor conversion rate. If you don't fix up this conversion rate, there is no way you're going to improve the landing page experience and there is no way that portion of your quality score is going to get improved. So you want to make sure you start off by improving your conversion rates. And this is one of the best ways and the fastest as fast as it can get to kind of improve your overall quality. Score. And the main reason why we're focused on improving our conversion rate is because we want to get the consumer to spend as much time as possible on our landing pages. Because what this tells Google is that if a person is spending more and more time over a period of time on our product pages, on our landing pages, they're obviously enjoying what they're seeing, they're interacting with it, and they're possibly also purchasing things from you. So the better you can do in terms of your conversion rates, the more that you get a person to spend time on your website, the more Google is going to notice this and start to pump your ads out more simply because Google now understands that you are giving its users, meaning Google's customers, a better experience on your landing page. So this is one of the most integral parts of having a good quality score and the fastest ways to improve it. Just improve your conversion rates. There's various ways you can do this. I'm not really going to go too into detail in this video because I've made a lot of videos on that. But some important things include having trust based factors on your website like chat, trust badges, etc. Having only one add to cart button, etc. So all of these things are very important to, of course, improving your conversion rates, which then directly is going to impact your landing page experience and your quality score. Method number two to improve your Google Ads quality score the fastest way possible is to improve your CTRs. Now, we're going to take first a look at the broader level because CTRs and quality score also work off of a very broad level. Right over here, if we look at the last 30 days for this account, we can see that a CTR for the first campaign is 27%, the second campaign 0.77, third campaign 0.51. But now the important thing you must do is you must check this box to compare it to the previous period because of course we want to always be improving and you want to notice what's happening to the CTRs. I already made a video as to why the performance overall for a lot of these campaigns is dwindling down because of the recession we are in and it's very visible as you can see lower amounts of people are actually interacting with the ads but 
if this were a normal time period of minus CTR just means lower amounts of people are interacting with our ads, lower amount of people are clicking on our products, etc. I mean, this one is minus 20%. So that tells you there is an issue on the products level directly. You need to go in and you need to kind of fix up specifically your product images. But the only way to improve this on a campaign level, at least with smart shopping campaigns, is to go down deep into the product level in edit your product images, which is the second best way and the fastest way to improve your quality score. Because what is happening right now is all of the CTRs when averaged out are contributing to the 0.51% CTR on the campaign level. So the only real way to fix this and as a result directly impact your expected CTR levels with your quality score is to fix up your product. So what I recommend you do is again, only use product and product images which are best suited for Google Ads, which are your competitors are not necessarily using. I always recommend you wanna be standing out of the crowd. That is what I always do and help accomplish for my Google Ads clients under my agency, Your Marketing, which if you're doing $30,000 or more in sales and you need some help, especially with product images or just improving your overall funnel and your campaigns as a whole, go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how I can possibly help you take your e-commerce brand to the next level. But number two fastest way again is to deep dive into the products level, improve the CTRs by changing up the images. What I normally like to do is any product image or any product for that matter with more than 500 impressions and one click or less gets either excluded or something changed in regards to its image, in regards to its title, etc. The next metric I like to look at is any product that is less than 0.20% CTR. Of course, considering that it has not gotten any sales. If it has gotten you sales, don't worry about this. But anything below 0.20% CTR, I'm always trying to figure out what the better image is, not just for that product sake, but for the campaign as a whole. Because again, those little bad apples kind of bring down the entire campaign. So this is not really good because you don't want some bad apples impacting the entire campaign negatively because then that's going to affect your quality score which is going to prevent your growth to the next level so the next way to really quickly improve the google ads quality score is to improve your ctrs but this brings me to the third and final point of improving your ctrs very quickly and that is to do or redo keyword research for your current running products. Now, this might seem like a lot of extra work, I get it, but this is just the reality of how Google Ads works. Again, if we look at this image right over here, one of the most important contributing factors to a quality score is the ad relevance. If you don't have a good ad relevance, meaning if you're trying to sell apples, but you have the word oranges in there repeated several times, and now Google thinks you're selling oranges instead of apples, that is gonna be below average ad relevance. You're gonna have the low quality score because of this section, and that is directly gonna impact this section of your ad rank. Because again, quality score and CPC multiplied together determine your ad rank. So that's why you need to make sure your ad relevance is up to the level you want it to be. The only real way to do that is to make sure your landing pages is as optimized as possible in terms of the keywords. So if you're selling apples, make sure you have the keywords Apple mentioned in there several times. But in addition to having ad relevance, make sure you follow SEO techniques for your descriptions, titles, and everything in between. That is simply because SEO and Google ads go hand in hand. Don't think SEO is just for organic traffic. The more SEO techniques you practice and the proper way that you implement them on your landing pages, the better your ad relevance is gonna be because it's gonna kinda include all of that keyword research which goes into having a proper SEO technique and a proper SEO strategy. So make sure you are doing SEO implementation in addition to keyword research to really take your ad relevance to the next level, which is directly gonna influence your quality score. But the best way to go about all of this and the fastest way to improve your Google Ads quality score as a whole and that too very quickly is to combine all of these three together. I don't necessarily mean do all of those three at the same time because then you won't know what is working, what is not working. I still recommend you do one thing at a time, but I do recommend you do one thing, wait about five to seven days, do the next thing on this list. Maybe do you do improving CTRs first, then you do the proper SEO techniques and the keyboard research. And then finally, you move on to the third step, which is landing page experience. Maybe you change something on your landing page. So do all of these three in conjunction to each other, make them complementary to each other and let them scale you to the next level. But again, if you need any type of help with your Google Ads account, you're already doing $30,000 or more in sales, go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how I can personally help you take you to the next level. But if you found any type of value in this video, destroy that like button, destroy that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video.